Good morning. Welcome to the Pyralysis tutorial. This video tutorial will outline materials required and procedure to be followed when performing pyrolysis. Pyrolysis as a chemical process in which organic materials are heated and de decomposed at very high temperatures in the absence of oxygen. Pyrolysis has been around for a very long time in the burning of wood into charcoal. This results in complete carbonization or py pyrolysis. The result of this form of pyrolysis is only carbon and inorganic ash from the burned wood. Temperature of the pyrolysis process is usually around the range of 400 to 700 degrees Celsius. There are three main types of pyrolysis, rapid or fast pyrolysis, pyrolysis in a medium, or slow pyrolysis. The production of charcoal from wood is an example of slow pyrolysis taking place at around 400 degrees Celsius. To produce things like liquid biofuel and gas, fast pyrolysis is needed, heating the biomass rapidly at around 1000 degrees Celsius. Next, let's move on to the setup of the lab. First, use a balance and determine the mass of an empty test tube, including the rubber stopper and tubing. This will be your original weight. Record this. Next, fill the test tube about half full with biomass. Then use the balance once more to determine the mass with the rubber stopper and tubing. Record. Clamp this test tube using the tube clamp. Make sure the clamp is lined with metal or fiberglass, or the rubber clamps could smolder and start to melt. If you would like to record relative temperature, place a type K thermocouple between the glass tube and the clamp at about 10 centimeters from the burner. Now after your assembly is complete, start the burner, as well as your timer. Reposition if the glass begins to glow or is not meeting the flame at all. Record observations and the amount of time it takes for the gas to start being released from the end of the tubing. Once a steady stream of gas is produced, light a match and hold it 2 centimeters from the tubing or the exit of the gas flow. The gas should start to burn. Keep the burner lit for 2 minutes and record observations. Turn the burner off and continue to observe the gas flow. Let the apparatus cool for 10 minutes. Once the tube is completely cooled, remove it from the ring clamp and determine the mass of the test tube once more. It is optional to repeat this procedure using different types of biomass and record the different observations made. Thank you for watching this instructional tutorial on pyrolysis.